Hey guys, what's up? Today we will be drifting again towards the Star Wars franchise and discussing all the mobile all-terrain walkers that serve in the Galactic Republic, the Galactic Empire and the First Order. But we won't be including the Trade Federation droids because we will be making another video for them. This list will be arranged in ascending order of size and will include all 26 of these walkers. So have fun. But before you do, do please subscribe and hit the notification bell. So here it goes. Number 26, the Mark 1 Automated Walker. The first entry to this list is the robotic all-terrain personal transport called the Mark 1 Automated Walker. They were armed with two blaster cannons and a concussion grenade launcher. They filled the role of patrolling and heavy cavalry from the New Republic era. Several Mark I droid walkers were stationed on Galak Fires ship during the second battle of the Jedi Praxium. These were all annihilated in the ship's destruction. They were 2.5 meters tall and had a top speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Number 25, the All-Terrain Exploration Droid. The next on this list is another automated all-terrain walker called the ATED or the All-Terrain Exploration Droid. It was a model of exploration droid developed in the collaboration between Cybot Galactica and Kuwat Drive Yards, designed to assist in the exploration and surveying of newly discovered planets. It had a single-sided mounted heavy blaster for armament. It was 2.5 meters tall. It also had good balance and can easily traverse through rough terrain. Number 24, the All-Terrain Personal Transport. The third entry is the ATPT or the All-Terrain Personal Transport and it is the first in this list that is not a droid. The walkers were capable of reaching speeds of up to 60 km per hour and could climb a 45 degree angle with hydraulic adjusters keeping the unit balanced. It was a light anti-infantry walker used by the Galactic Republic and later the Galactic Empire. It was manufactured by Rothana Heavy Engineering, a subsidiary of the Kuwa Drive Yards. Number 23, the All-Terrain Recon Transport. This one called the ATRT or the Recon Transport or the Republic Scout Walker is a commonly seen two-legged vehicle in service with the Republic and was a model of Recon Walker used mainly during the Clone Wars by the Advanced Recon Force Troopers. The ATRTs were usually used for a variety of missions including ground support, police support, civil defense and post-battle cleanup efforts. It stands at 3.2 meters tall and carried one soldier on top. Number 22, the All-Terrain Riot Control Transport. The ATRCT was introduced 19 years before the Battle of Yavin and served in the Galactic Republic, the Galactic Empire and the Fell Empire. It was designed for use in cities and other areas with large populations. It had a maximum speed of 90 km per hour. It is fitted with two double medium blaster cannons and suppression cannons. This walker outsized the previous entry by 3 meters as it stands around 6 meters tall. Number 21, the All-Terrain Experiment Transport. A highly effective combat vehicle, the ATXT or the All-Terrain Experiment Transport was a predecessor to the ATRT and the ATST. The ATXT was equipped with twin laser cannons mounted under its chin and two long-range proton motor launchers. This walker was a very effective combat vehicle but it was never mass-produced as its designers were constantly improving its later versions. This walker stands at 8 meters tall and had a top speed of 75 kilometers per hour. Number 20, the All-Terrain Construction Walker. All the earlier entries of this list were transports and walkers and were designed for combat and or troop delivery in the battlefield. This ATCW or the All-Terrain Construction Walker wasn't a combat version even though it was based on the famous Scout Transport. It sports two legs and the ATCT was equipped with small but powerful tractor beam generators used to lift large building materials for construction related tasks. It stands at 8.6 meters tall. Number 19, the All-Terrain Advanced Raider. This entry into the list is called the All-Terrain Advanced Raider and also known as the Light ATST or also as a Scout Walker and was a variant of the All-Terrain Scout Transport used by the Galactic Empire during the Galactic Civil War. The All-Terrain Advanced Raider had a heavier armor than the ATST for frontline combat even though it was smaller but only armed with a single laser cannon but on the plus side it was faster. These ATARs or the All-Terrain Advanced Raiders were all 9.04 meters tall and 4.5 meters long. 
Number 18. The All-Terrain Scout Transport The most famous and most well-known of the two-legged ATs are the Scout Transport or also called the Scout Walker or a Chicken Walker and this vehicle was a lightweight bipedal walker used by the ground forces of the Galactic Empire and also later by the First Order even though they used an upmounted upgraded variant. The Empire used them for swift reconnaissance and troop support. The ATSTs were equipped with two chin mounted MS4 twin blaster cannons and the range is 2 kilometers. These ATSTs were all 9.04 meters tall and 4.5 meters long. Number 17 The All Terrain Missile Platform The All Terrain Missile Platform was a walker used by the Imperial Army. Its general appearance was similar to that of the All Terrain Scout Transport, but it was fitted with arms acting as missile launchers and a chin mounted rotary laser cannon that looked more like a minigun. Its missile capabilities made it heavier and more massive even though it had the same dimensions as the ATST. Number 16 The All Terrain Kashyyyk Transport This next entry also shares the same dimensions as the ATMP and the ATST being 4.5 meters long and 9.04 meters tall. The All Terrain Kashyyyk Transport was an All Terrain Scout Transport variant built by the Kuat Drive Yards. This walker was equipped with large anti-personal net guns on each side of the cockpit area and an array of other weaponry. The walker was used on the planet Kashyyyk to more effectively deal with the continued Wookiee insurgency. At number 15 we have the All-Terrain Defense Turret. A bigger and more effective bipedal walker used by the Galactic Empire, this entry was a slow vehicle due to the size of its main cannon, which fired a massive shot that exploded on impact but while firing it was rendered immobilized. It was vulnerable to anti-vehicle weapons as a result of its light armor. The first footage of the all-terrain defense turret was shown in the Solo A Star Wars Story official trailer on April 8, 2018. This walk is a bit taller at 9.11 meters tall. At number 14 we have the all-terrain defense pod. The next one on this long walking list is the all-terrain defense pod or the ATDP which was a bipedal imperial walker manufactured by the Kuat Drive Yards prior to and during the Galactic Civil War. They were driven by the Imperial Combat Drivers. This walker was a successor to the smaller ATRT as it stands almost 3.5 times taller at 11.6 meters tall even though it ranks less than the next one. The reason is that its overall mass is way lesser than the upcoming rank. Number 13 The All-Terrain Tactical Enforcer this walker outranks the previous even though it is shorter than the last entry simply because height doesn't always mean bigger. It was a multi-purpose military ground walker used by the Galactic Republic during the Clone Wars. They boasted six legs that could be magnetized, six laser cannon turrets located along the body of the walker and a heavy projectile mass driver cannon on top. This beast was 22 meters long and almost 10 meters tall. Number 12. The All-Terrain Attack Pod the all-terrain attack pod also referred to the ATAP self-propelled artillery walker or the ATAP was a small tripedal walker manufactured by the Kuat Drive Yards and was developed from the ATPT. The ATAP had an angular hull that was situated above two multi-jointed legs and had a smaller retractable third leg. The ATAP's primary weapon was a powerful long-range heavy mass driver cannon that was located in the forward hull. This walker is 11 meters tall. Number 11. The All-Terrain Anti-Aircraft This next entry has a length of 18 meters long and we had to research and estimate its height to be around 13 to 14 meters tall. The ATAA or the All-Terrain Anti-Aircraft had four stubby legs and lizard looking locomotion along with the low profile. On most models, the only weapon was a turreted flag pod capable of firing several types of ordnance. The walker saw action during the Galactic Civil War where it was used against aircraft but was useless against any ground vehicles. Number 10. The All-Terrain Heavy Hauler This one is neither a combat or a troop carrier version of the walker. It was manufactured and seen first serving the First Order during the Battle of Krayt. Also known as the Tuck Walker, two were used during the Battle of Krayt to tuck a super laser siege cannon towards the resistance base. Although their primary purpose was to tuck and pull massive ground weapons, they were far from defenseless. Their unusual multi-legged design comparable to crustaceans and insects provided immense power. They were 29.57 meters long and 14.29 meters tall. 
Number 9. The All-Terrain Open Transport The All-Terrain Open Transport or the ATOT was an eight-legged walker designed for the transportation of infantry used by the Grand Army of the Republic during the Clone Wars. It was deployed during the Battle of Felucia towards the end of the war. This walker was seen in the third movie of The Revenge of the Sith. It was seen transporting clone soldiers into dense forested areas. This walker stands at 14.3 meters tall and is a valuable and effective vehicle of the Empire. Number 8. The All-Terrain Dune Walker At last, the first amongst the four-legged AT-AT variants and this is the Dune Walker. It was a modified version of the All-Terrain Armored Transport used by the Galactic Empire. It was specifically designed to serve on planets with deserts and hot climates. All-Terrain Armored Transport were often modified to be more effective in certain missions and equipped with special components for specific environments. The Dune Walker was 20 meters long and 15.5 meters tall. Number 7. The All-Terrain Armored Transport the famous All-Terrain Armored Transport or the AT-AT Walker, also known as the Imperial Walker, was the backbone and a major part of the Galactic Empire's cavalry. This basic version brings with it a vast amount of firepower and was also heavily armored. The AT-AT was arguably the most feared and effective land vehicle in the Imperial Army. It stands 20 meters long and 22.5 meters tall, 7 meters longer than the Dune Walker. At number 6, we have the All-Terrain Armored Heavy Transport. Coming up next is the deadly armored version of the AT-AT and this one is called the AT-AHT or the All-Terrain Armored Heavy Transport. It is more heavily armored than its basic variant but stands at the same height and length but I'm betting that it weighs more and hence ranks above the others. It is also 22.5 meters tall but fits the part of the heavy cavalry and has won many battles due to its armor which is resistant to small arms fire and even medium-sized arms. At number 5, we have the First Order All-Terrain Armored Transport. Although also termed as the basic variant of the AT-AT, the First Order version features increased armor and a boarding ram under its chin in place of the heavy laser cannons. Instead, its primary weapons were mounted on the sides of its heads. Two First Order AT-ATs were deployed during the Battle of Krayt. It was manufactured by the Kuwat Entrala Drive Yards and was longer at 24 meters long but the same height at 22.03 meters tall. And at number 4 we have the All-Terrain Iron Cannon. The ATIC resembled the standard AT-AT design except half of its structural body place was dedicated to supporting a massive iron cannon. The Galactic Empire converted a small number of its AT-AT walkers into mobile iron cannons which became known as All-Terrain Iron Cannon Walkers. They were 26 meters long and a bit taller at 23 meters tall. Number 3. The All-Terrain Armored Cargo Transport The ATACT or the All-Terrain Armored Cargo Transport was another variant of the AT-AT and was deployed at major Imperial construction projects such as shipyards and sprawling research installations. Even though they were not built for combat, they were still capable of posing a formidable threat to infantry as discovered by rebel troopers during the Battle of Scarif. They were 35 meters long and almost 32 meters tall. Number 2. The All-Terrain Mega Caliber 6 The ATM-6 or also known as the Gorilla Walker or the First Order Heavy Assault Walker was a mobile heavy artillery walker used by the First Order in the years following the collapse of the Galactic Empire and the capture of destruction of most of its industrial capabilities by the New Republic. The First Order sought a successor to the original Imperial All-Terrain Armored Transport and this eventually led to the development of the ATM-6 and voila! Here comes the beast that stands almost 41 meters long and more than 36 meters tall. And at the number one spot comes the self-propelled heavy artillery turbo laser. This spot goes to an unlikely candidate and it was a self-propelled artillery walker. This walker was a modular heavy artillery unit used by the Grand Army of the Republic during the Clone Wars and by the Galactic Empire afterwards. It had 12 legs that serve as a mobile support structures and they were deployed directly from acclimated class assault ships. The SPHA Walker chassis served as the basis for a number of different weapons platforms, though the best chronicled version was the Turbo Laser. This monster dwarfs the others in length being 140 meters long but are shorter than the gorillas being at only 20.6 meters tall. Anyways, this brings us to the end of the video. 
do like, share and subscribe for more related content and hit the notification bell for actual notifications.